Let me turn back to, to Donald Trump uh, for a moment and just ask if he were elected president again in 2024, what kind of defense and foreign policies do you think he would pursue? For example, an obvious question is whether he would seek some kind of rapprochement with Russia and China, regardless of the current uh, security situation. And also, frankly, what dangers do you think he would pose if he were reelected? I think first and foremost, he's not going to uh, um, make the same mistake with regard to personnel as he did uh, in his first term, right? He's going to pick real loyalists and put them into these key jobs. Uh, obviously, that was my concern during the last six, seven months of my tenures. If I left or if I was fired too soon, who he would put in. So he's going to not make that mistake twice, number one. Number two, from a national security perspective, uh, look, I'm very concerned that he would try with, to withdraw from NATO to uh, reposition our forces off the Korean Peninsula, maybe make withdrawals from Japan. Uh, so there's that side of the coin. But the other side is, you know, would he push tough policies uh, with regard to communist China and Russia by, uh, as well? I'm not sure. You know, I talk about this in the book. On one hand, I think the Trump administration deserves credit for uh, forming a consensus in the country about China being our strategic adversary. And with that, uh, the departments marched forward on a series of plans. For me, it was implementing the national defense strategy that identified China as our, our threat, pacing threat, and then from there, modernizing the force. But President Trump really never got on board with his own policy, uh, at least not until the end, right, when COVID uh, hit the country hard and he had every reason to accuse China of, of being the source of it. Uh, but he, he was more inclined to talk about trade matters and to describe constantly Xi Jinping as his close friend. And when you're trying to take a tough approach and show resolve and determination, in some ways that undermines your foreign policy.